Jewish communities around the world are celebrating Rosh Hashanah, the Jewish New Year on Wednesday, but for one man in Afghanistan it will be a solitary event. Alan Fisher has been to meet the only Jew left in Afghanistan. The Star of David cut into the concrete is the only clue that here, on a side street in the heart of Kabul, stands a synagogue. The man in charge is Zabalon Simentov, the only Jew left in the whole of Afghanistan. He's lived in the Afghan capital for 27 years. He's lived through communism, civil war and the Taliban. Four times the Taliban put me in jail. I have some enemies and they were reporting me to the Taliban. They would beat me. They told me, you're a spy, you're Jewish, you don't have a right to live in Afghanistan. They tried to convert me to Islam, but it would go in one ear and out the other. They asked me to become a Muslim, but I told them I would not leave my religion. My family's not that weak. He shows me the pictures of the injuries he says he suffered from Taliban beatings. And then he takes me to the old prayer room. There are Hebrew texts on the wall, but like the rest of the building, it's dirty and run down. Zabalon still honours his religion. He prays every day and strictly observes the Sabbath. He has a wife and two daughters, but they now live in Israel. Now at times like this, the Jewish New Year, he finds himself very much alone. If you give any other Jew $100,000 to come live here, they would not come because of the fighting and the conflicts here. They would not come. I am brave. There is no one here like me. Zabalon says one day he may leave. He'd like to join his family in Israel, but for the moment he believes it's God's will that he'll remain the last Jew in Afghanistan. Alan Fisher, Al Jazeera, Kabul.